Raynar's products are designed in Europe and well-crafted in America with two manufacturing facilities in the U.S. Raynar's Concept Patio CP155 lift slide doors are comprised of a frame, door panels, threshold, glass, and hardware. This video is intended to be a guide through the critical steps required for installation. Refer to this and other detailed documentation for a full overview of installation procedures. The following is a quick overview of the tools required for installation. Building integration techniques and water sealing methods, including sill pans and flashing, should be executed per architectural details and construction documents specified by others. If not already detached, remove the header frame to pre-drill building connection points. To do so, remove the synthetic section from the frame. Connections are required. 8 inch max from the ends and no more than 27 and a half inches apart. Drill attachment points on both sides of the frame to prevent twisting after final installation. The sill chamber is compartmentalized to prevent water migration and proper drainage. Verify the butt joint and end cavity are closed off with sealant. Assemble the frame and check all connections are tight, secure, and fully sealed. Use plastic shims as required to plumb, level, and square the frame within the opening. It is recommended to use a temporary fixing lug to hold the frame in place. To check plumb, use a level to verify it is vertical, not tilting forward or backward. To level, utilize a transit to take spot measurements along the frame. Shim threshold every foot to prevent frame from bending. Once set, run a tape measure across the element diagonally from the opposite corners, both ways, to verify the dimensions are equal, thus square and ready for installation. It is recommended to directly attach profiles to the building structure. However, fixing lugs can also be used for making permanent connections. Use appropriate anchors to avoid bimetallic corrosion of aluminum profiles. Refer to construction documents for specified fasteners. Field drill pilot holes and locate shims near connection points to prevent buckling of frame. Connections are required on all sides. 8 inch maximum from each corner and 27 and a half inches between attachments. Always locate connections at the locking point. Do not pierce the sill chamber to avoid water infiltration through the bottom of the outer frame. Only use fixing lugs to attach to the building structure. To allow for expansion and shrinkage of the sliding elements, use minimal shims at the header frame. After all connections are secured, snap the synthetic profiles back into the header frame. Temporarily install all panels to ensure the door is operating correctly. Position the first panel into the frame by angling at 30 degrees. Position the next panel into the frame in similar fashion. Secure the fixed panel to the jam and sill at the factory pre-drilled hole locations. Verify interlock is catching properly and the door is operating correctly. Glazing the fixed panel without the operable vent installed avoids the need to thread the glass around the interlock assembly. Remove the operable vent for stationary panel glazing if desired. The door has been inversed within the opening to give a clear view of the interior side. To best show all the steps associated with the glazing process, glaze the fixed panel first, then the movable panel. It is critical to properly position glass supports to secure the glass within the vents. They must be placed so that the glass is evenly supported on all sides, four inches from the corners. Systems with glass panels weighing more than 600 pounds may require special consideration. Ensure there are enough team members present to safely place the glass, temporarily secure glass with shortest glazing beads. 
Utilize packers or shims to tightly position the glass pane in place. Adjust with glazing shovel as needed. Once glass is secure in place, slide the movable leaf towards the locking point just shy of closed to visually inspect the gap is even at the top and bottom of the door panel. Adjust glass with glazing shovel as required. To maintain water tightness of the system, it is critical to seal the bottom glass supports with silicone caulk on the interior side of the panels. Proceed with bead and gasket installation. Snap in the bottom glazing bead and temporarily wedge gasket in place. Cut gaskets 10% longer to compensate for contraction. Verify the glass is packed tight at the top. Place glazing bead and feed gaskets. Ensure glass is horizontally centered within the panel. Pack tight and snap vertical glazing beads into place and stitch in gaskets to complete step. Complete gaskets installation at bottom of panel. It is important to keep the decompression and drainage holes free from blockage. Make sure to do so throughout the glazing process. Check whether all accessories can be operated easily and without restriction. To finalize frame installation to the building structure, break down or cut back shims and fill the seal with non-shrink grout. Snap the interlock cover plate into the vent at the meeting section. Adhere the bottom meeting section closer to the sill. Seal the ends with caulk, insert the drainage covers and install the door buffers. To operate, the door requires the user to lift before sliding. This is done by simply turning the handle 180 degrees and sliding. If the door is not lifted before opening, it can dislodge the gaskets and potentially damage the door. Rainars, together for better.